Hi guys, this is Editing Alex. So before this video started, I just wanted to apologize because whenever I was filming this video and I was in the kitchen, my smoke alarm, like the battery in it was like dead and needed to be replaced. So it kept beeping every once in a while just because that's how it lets us know like the battery needs to be replaced. So I just wanted to apologize for that in advance. Sorry if that aggravates people. Didn't even realize it was that loud until I like was watching the video back and like editing it. But yeah, so anyway, let's Get started to the video. Hi like Soys, I'm Alexandria Long and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell from today's title, I'm going to be baking cookies and answering juicy questions. So I put a poll on my Instagram yesterday and I put a poll on there today. Well, not a poll, but I put, you know, a little thing telling you guys to ask me questions and tell me why like 100 people viewed each one of those stories and I only got eight responses that would hurt me like at least if you see it all you have to do is like make up a random question like come on now people work with me come on but anyways we're gonna focus on the positive shout out to those eight people who actually answered and responded I appreciate y'all hey queen girl you have done it again constantly raising the bar for us all and doing it flawlessly. So we're gonna be making some sugar cookies today. I got this Betty Crocker sugar cookie mix right here. I've never had this before because I'm not normally a cookie person. The people in my family were all like cake people. So we don't make cookies or anything like that. Well, at least like, you know, like my immediate family, we don't. So we're just gonna dive right into it and get started. So I think I'm supposed to use this whole cookie pack because it doesn't say which one specifically to use but i am going to be using this little cookie cutter to make my cookies so we're just going to read the instructions so i'm supposed to need oh here's my frosting by the way i just got i didn't want to pay four dollars for cookie frosting so i just bought some betty crocker frosting you know for like normally for cakes but it's still frosting so whatever so we're supposed to need flour which i have right here an egg and then half a cup of butter so let's just go right into it let me get my bowl i think you're supposed to pour the whole thing and mix in i'm not really sure it doesn't say not to and i looked it up and it said you can't use the whole bag so that's what we're gonna do and let's just get started i had to go get some scissors because i couldn't open it so let's just cut it over here. so it says to pour the mix and the flour in there separately and then do the egg and the butter i guess because you know you got to separate the dry and wet ingredients so that's what we're gonna do and let's get started with these questions so the first question was what was the most embarrassing thing you've ever done um i've done a lot of embarrassing things in my life i can't quite recall everything you know because if i did something embarrassing and most of the time try to block it out and not think about it but something embarrassing that has happened to me that i can recall is that if you know me you already know this story but so whenever i was really little i was probably about like two or three years old i was at my house and i was just chilling there was like there wasn't a lot of people at my house but there was a couple of people at my house so someone was supposed to be watching me i don't know who's supposed to be watching me but i was at the top of the stairs and i wanted to go downstairs but i don't remember if like no one wanted to take me or something i don't think that was the case i think i was just trying to you know go down the stairs because i was like a toddler and that's what toddlers do so i tried to go down the stairs and i tumbled down the stairs like you know when you throw a ball down the stairs and it just rolls that was me i was like a little bowling pin and i didn't stop till i hit my front door and i started crying and everything thinking back on it now it is kind of like if if i that happened to me now i would just laugh but at the time i was really little so i just cried but yeah i hit the door and my dad came in and he was like what's going on he was like screaming but i ended up fine for the most part i think okay next thing is what are your goals for 2021 i had set goals pretty requisite of 2021 you know obviously like i had my new resolution video but basically it's just to do better this year like eat better exercise more you know basic little goals but i'm gonna try to save this year and start my business this year those are two of my biggest goals that i'm trying to get done this year because i've been wanting to do them for a minute now and i think this is you know the perfect year to start so hopefully that goes well um let me scoop this out we gotta get three tablespoons of flour so we're just gonna one and three 
Okay. Now that that's all done, we're gonna mix that up. So the next question is, have you, have you, or will you ever date someone in high school? Um, I mean, I guess if I like someone and they ask me out, like, sure, you know, why not? But you know, we can't really do anything right now anyway because of COVID. And I wasn't talking to anyone prerequisite. I, I'm, I, I'm, I just learned that word. I didn't just learn that word. I like the word prerequisite, so I've been using it. But um, if someone asks me out and I like them, yeah, sure. You know, why not? You only live once, right? Um, the next question is, what inspired me to do YouTube? Um, I don't really know, honestly. Um, I think I just wanted to start doing it because I, at first I had started YouTube by posting covers. I started YouTube back in 2018. I wish I would have stuck to my original channel. And like, if y'all subscribe to this channel, you know that this is actually my second one because I left my first one because I felt like unappreciated on that channel. But I realized I should have just stuck it out because like the same thing's happening now. But something you have to realize when you start a YouTube channel is that like everyone's not gonna watch every single one of your videos. Like in the beginning, it's gonna be a lot because everyone's gonna want to watch it. But then slowly, it'll just fade and. Out as many people will watch your videos like I know the most traction I get are on videos like if I'm doing hauls or if I'm doing like certain things that get people's attention it really just have to see what works for you and yeah I really don't know what made me want to start I just did I don't know okay for my wet ingredients we're supposed to have half a cup of butter and also an egg so I got my egg right here and it says the half cup of butter is supposed to be melted so I'll probably just pop it in the microwave for a couple of seconds. I think that's enough. I think. Hold on. I need some more on this side. Uh, I don't want to get too little butter. Okay. I think that's enough. And I did wash my hands before I started doing this. Just in case you guys wanted to know that. Because I am touching the butter. So let's put the cap on that and I'm going to pop this in the microwave for a couple seconds and get back to y'all. Okay, I got the butter. I didn't melt it completely just because, you know, it. I, I just didn't. But it's mostly melted so we're just going to go ahead and pop it in there. Yep, there's the butter. Okay, let's get the rest of that in there. And get everything on the outside. All that in there. It kind of looks like soup it really does it looks like soup okay now we're gonna throw the egg in there all right and now we're just going to mix okay next question is what specific things were you tested on doing your driver's license test okay so basically for my driver's license test i took my driver's license test with the same school i took my class at so mostly what they test you on, I was tested on parallel parking. They test you on changing lanes in an intersection. So like if you're going down the street, they'll tell you to like turn to the right lane, turn to the left thing, turn to the left lane, sorry. One thing I can tell y'all is like when you're getting ready to take your driver's test, make sure whenever you're taking the test, you like check your blind spot because I know I got points taken off for that whenever I was taking mine because if you're changing lanes it's good for them they like are looking at you so if you look in your mirror they like that but then if you don't check your blind spot then they take off points for that and if you don't know what your blind spot is you probably know if you've already been dri driving before but your blind spot is basically like you know when you look out in your mirror on your left or your right so you can see what's behind you but your blind spot are these spots behind you so the spots be like if a car was coming I wouldn't necessarily be able to see it in my mirror because it's past my mirror's view so you're supposed to look at the mirror you're trying to change then check your blind spot and then change to the lane and I just make sure y'all do that because if you don't do that they will take out points for that so let's see they did parallel parking parallel parking was the hardest thing for me but I ended up doing well and on the test uh, they do changing lanes intersection. For my test, they took me into the neighborhood and see they were observing me like doing stop signs. Make sure when you're taking a driver's test, you stop behind the stop sign. I don't mean like you have to be like a mile away from it or anything, but they will be looking at that whenever you're taking the test. And when you're in driver school, or at least my driver school told me they like us to stop behind the stop sign whenever we're doing it. So sorry the explanation was kind of long. 
I have word vomit, but if you're not new here, you already knew that. So yeah, that's how you get your, that's what I was tested on on mine. But there's also some other things, you know, that you might be tested on. So just, I might be forgetting a lot of things, probably because I can't remember all of them right now. But DM me on, if you're watching this, the person who asked that question, DM me on Instagram and I'll let you know. Like, because I have a list from like when I'm taking my test, so yep. Yeah. Alright y'all, I'm all done making my little mix for my cookie dough. It's right here. It looks like that. It's not going to come out because it's like really thick. So I'm supposed to flour a surface and then roll this out, you know, do little cookie things. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm probably not going to... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So... I just used this can of greens so yeah now that my dough is all rolled out it took a second but we're finally rolled out I'm gonna start cutting it with my little cookie cutter and we'll answer some more questions I only have like mm, uh, three more questions okay so next question what is your biggest fear um that's a tough question um, I would say I have multiple fears, but my biggest one, I have arachnophobia, first of all, like, I don't like, ugh, spiders, I can't do it, um, spiders are not for me, um, I don't really, like, mess with insects in general, but, I mean, if you do, hey, that's your cup of tea, so, that's one of them, but my biggest one is probably heights, I don't have a problem being, like, going on something that's really high, like, a roller coaster, I don't like roller coasters personally just because they plummet down. If it's a roller coaster that's not that serious, like if it's like the Batman or something, the Batman is fine, like, you know, like a Six Flags because it just has loops. It doesn't go down really fast or anything. I like that. And I like zip lining too. I love being in the sky. I guess I'm just really afraid of falling. That's my main concern. That kind of, it freaks me out in general. Like, that's scary. Next question is what did I get for Christmas? Um, I got multiple things for Christmas. If you want to see everything I got, you can watch my what I got for Christmas video because I put that up um, two days after Christmas. You can go check that out. Um, and the next question is, are you talking to anyone right now? I'm not talking to anyone right now. haven't been talking to anyone in a long time. Like, it's been a minute. But yeah, I'm not talking to anyone right now. And that was the last question. So for the rest of this video, it's probably just going to be like a little thing of me doing the cookies. Just because um, I have no more questions, I'm probably just going to make it a big time lapse. So yeah. Okay, the cookies are in the oven right here. Now we are just going to let them bake. Okay, y'all, my camera died like while I was in the middle of doing the cookies. So I didn't get to film some parts, but I'll just show you guys the finished products anyway. There aren't that many left in here because I have eaten some of them. I'm not going to lie to y'all. So here's what they ended up coming out. They're super cute. They taste pretty good, actually. I thought they were going to taste like, I don't want to say bad, but I thought they weren't going to taste good because a lot of people don't like this, um like brand of mix but I actually liked it my cookie says are really good love the ice and love the sprinkles there's only three left because I've eaten the other ones but we're not going to talk about that so yeah here are my little cookies they're so cute look at them and I'm showing you right now because they're probably going to be gone because I want to eat them but I wanted to show y'all because I realized I hadn't filmed this for y'all yet so yes here they are okay um that's it 
Alright you guys, I forgot to film an outro whenever I did this video for whatever reason, so we're just going to do it right now. Alright you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and even if you didn't enjoy it, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to become a Lexoid, because I love to have you, and I'm sure the other Lexoids love to have you guys as well. I love you guys so much, and I'm so glad to have you guys in 2021. We're going to make it a great year, and it's just going to be good. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Almost to 100 subscribers. I cannot wait to hit triple digits. I love you guys so much and thanks for watching. Bye Lexoids!